This is a tutorial for intermediate and advanced notepad design in InDesign. These are called spiral notepads because they have a spin to them when we do the binding and padding process. To make them tall enough, we gang them up four to an eight and a half by eleven page. So to begin with that, we're going to go to our InDesign program and go File, New Document, and you need to select Print and Letter. We don't want facing pages turned on. We're going to head and go to Inches for our ruling system and select Wide and Create. Then we are going to put a five and a half line or center line for the length and an eight, excuse me, four and a quarter for our center line for our notepads. Then we're going to use this icon in the corner next to the rulers and move our rulers so that they start here as the zero point. These are going to be um, four and a quarter inch wide. So again, I'm going to go off of center to four and a quarter and off of center of four and a quarter. These become our cut lines. And again, down from center, actually four and a quarter is already from center. So we're going to go to the line tool and make two little print marks. These are your cut marks. I'm going to just use, that one was a little crooked, so I'm just going to resize this one and copy and duplicate it. And then group it so that we can use it in other areas. There's our second one. And it becomes tricky when you print these um, to cut them off, but it's more important we have the guidelines than they show up a little on the notepad. And then object group and command C for copy and command V for paste. And these are our cut lines for the bottom. We also need some horizontal cut lines. And go ahead and let those run right off the page. And then rather than remaking them, I'm going to go ahead and paste them and show you how to use the rotator tool. This is the rotator tool. Hold down the shift key and it will do it at 45 and 90 degrees exactly. Again, this is what the rotating tool. You've got the size tool and the rotating tool. You just have to go off the edge. And now I can copy and paste that one. And now I have the cut marks set up for my spiral notepad. Now, oops, we didn't get a duplicate of that. Let's double check that duplicate. Now I'm going to put margin lines, which we want half inch margins on all four sides. This already has a half inch margin and this has a half inch margin and so we've got from here to here is your margin, from here to here is your margin, and from here to here is your margin. So we need another cut line whoops we don't need the rotated one, we need this one so we're going to copy it and put it right here. So all this over here becomes scrap and here. Now you're going to look at your rough layout and create the types and graphic that you know you want to put on these. The important thing about the spiral notepads as opposed to the ones you did in the beginning class is they are all 
excuse me, they are all the same document. We call it ganging up. We are going to gang these up so that we have four of the same document. And I will show you that in a future document. We're going to copy and step and repeat these so they're all the same. So this concludes the setting your lines up for your spiral notepad video. Your next video is creating the artwork for your spiral notepad.